Hello everyone. Today's problem is taken from the very first International Mathematical Olympiad. For what real values of x is the square root of x plus square root of 2x minus 1 plus the square root of x minus the square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to a. Given a is equal to the square root of 2, a equals 1, and a equals 2 where only non-negative real numbers are admitted for square roots. It is very important to note that in order for the radicands to be non-negative, x must be greater than or equal to 1 half. Okay, so let's note about that. So, x must be greater than or equal to 1 half. Now, we can go ahead and square both sides of the equation. However, I will I will not go to that path. Instead, I will use substitution method to simplify the given equation. And I also believe that by doing this, we can easily analyze the resulting equation. Okay, so let's let u be equal to square root of 2x minus 1 because we are changing the variables or the variable here we must also determine the range of values for the variable u take note that x is greater than or equal to 1 half so u must be greater than or equal to 0 okay so if we square both sides of u equals the square root of 2x minus 1, we obtain u squared equals 2x minus 1. Let us solve for x because later on we'll substitute this into the original equation. Solving for x, we obtain u squared plus 1 all divided by 2. Now let us replace x by u squared plus 1 over 2. The original equation then becomes the square root of u squared plus 1 over 2 plus u plus the square root of u squared plus 1 over 2 minus u and the sum is equal to a. Now if we combine the fractions inside in the first term, we actually obtain u squared plus um, 2u plus 1 all divided by 2. So this is equivalent to u plus 1 squared divided by 2. Similarly, the second term becomes u minus 1 squared divided by 2. And then this is equal to a. Okay, so let us simplify this further. Take note that u is greater than or equal to 0. So u plus 1 is positive. So we can get the square root of u plus 1 squared. We now have u plus 1 divided by the square root of 2. However, we need to be careful with the second term because u minus 1 changes sign at u equals 1. So we can reduce this into the absolute value of u minus 1 divided by the square root of 2. And then the sum is equal to a. Now we need to split the interval u greater than or equal to 0 into two parts or into two sub-intervals in order for us to simplify uh, this last equation. Now, if u is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1, take note u minus 1 changes sign at u equals 1. So, our first sub-interval is u greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1. So, if u is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1, then a is equal to u plus 1 over the square root of 2 
plus 1 minus u over the square root of 2, which simplifies to uh, 2 over the square root of 2, which we, when rationalized uh, becomes square root of 2. Okay? Now, if u is greater than or equal to 1, a is equal to u plus 1 over the square root of 2. And then plus u minus 1 over the square root of 2. Because now u minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 when u is greater than or equal to 1. So we can simplify this into... 2 times u over the square root of 2. So if we rationalize this, we actually get uh, square root of 2 times u. Okay, so let's su summarize these results. We now know that a is equal to the square root of 2 when u is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1. But a is equal to square root of 2 times u when u is greater than or equal to 1. So, this piecewise defined function is much easier to analyze than the original um, radical equation that, that was given. Okay. Now, we consider the three cases in the problem a equals the square root of 2, a equals 1, and a equals 2. Okay, so we have a equals the square root of 2, a equals 1, and a equals 2. We will now determine the values of u for which these values are attainable using our piece, piecewise defined um, function. Now, take note that a is equal to the square root of 2 when u is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1. So, this one here is, also, is a solution. Okay. However, it's also possible uh, to attain square root of 2 when u is equal to 1. So, u equals 1 is another solution. So, we take note that a equals the square root of 2 when u is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1 or u equals 1. So, if we combine this one, the solution... is u greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1. Take note that u is not the original variable. So we need to convert this into an interval involving x. Now let's go back to our substitution or, or the, the, exp the, ex the equation we used to substitute in the beginning of the of the solution take note that x equals u squared plus 1 over 2 so let's use that equation to convert this interval into an interval involving x okay so we have x equals u squared plus 1 over 2 so the solution u greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to 1 is equivalent to x uh, greater than or equal to 1 half but less than or equal to 1. So how did we um, come up with this? Just substitute the endpoints in the equation here okay, so that you will have the endpoints in the new interval. Okay, now let's have the case a equals 1. Is this possible or is this attainable? If we look at the first part of our piecewise, piecewise defined function, 
it's a constant square root of 2. So it can never be 1, right? So there is no solution when u uh, is greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1. So we set that aside. How about when square root of 2, how about when we have a equals square root of 2 times u? Is a equals 1 attainable? Take note that a equals square root of 2 times u uh, is equal to 1 when u is equal to 1 over the square root of 2. However, this one is less than 1, right? Which means that u equals 1 over square root of 2 does not belong to the interval u greater than or equal to 1. Hence, there is no solution in this interval. So, we note that there is no solution in u greater than or equal to 1. Okay. How about a equals 2? We can only attain a equals 2 when we have a equals square root of 2 times times u and u is equal to the square root of 2. So a equals the square root of 2 times u is equal to 2 when u is equal to square root of 2. Okay. Now, take note that u equals square root of 2 belongs to the interval u greater than or equal to 1. So, this one is a solution. So, we take note that in fact u equals square root of 2 is a unique solution. So u equals square root of 2 is a unique solution. But we need to convert this into uh, something containing x. Okay, So using again our formula substituting u equals square root of 2 we obtain x equals 3 halves. Okay, so our final answers are as follows. For the case, a equals the square root of 2. The solution is x greater than or equal to 1 half but less than or equal to 1. And for the case a equals 1, there is no solution. And for the case a equals 2, there is a unique solution which is x equals 3 halves. And these are our final answers.